What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at subtraction and we're going to involve borrowing. Let's jump into it. Okay, we're going to use these two tips to start with. We're going to use column labels and we're going to start with the smallest value. But we need to be very careful when we fill in our numbers because subtraction can get very tricky. Let's understand what I mean. So let's have a look at first 452. Well, we can see we have 2 in the 1s column, 5 in the 10s, and 4 in the 100s. And then in my 35, I have 5 1s and 3 10s. Now when I put my 1s, 10s, and 100s, I can quite simply put these numbers into the correct place by seeing 452, 2 1s, 5 10s, 4 100s. And again with the 35, 5 1s, three tens. Now I have this little gap here underneath the four and next to the three and then here I'm going to put a placeholder a zero. doesn't change my 35's value but it's just going to help us with the subtraction. My equals line and my subtraction sign. Here we go. Now my second step said to start with the smallest value and in this case it's in my ones column and my question says to subtract five and that is very important. The number on the top is always going to go first and then the number on the bottom will go second. So my question says 2 subtract 5. So many people will see this and think, ah, I can just do 5 subtract 2. That's much easier. Well, 5 subtract 2 is going to give you 3 and that is the wrong answer. My question says 2 subtract 5, so that is what I have to do. That is the most important part of this lesson. If you flip those numbers around and put 5 subtract 2, you will get the wrong answer. You have to do it in order. The number on the top goes first and the number on the bottom goes second because we're taking this 5 away from the 2. Okay, so let's do 2 subtract 5. And I'm going to put my two counters, 1, 2. And we can see that it is impossible to take 5 because there are only 2. So what do we do? Well, we're going to use this magic word up here. We are going to borrow. So at the moment, in my ones column, I only have this little two. Well, I want to make this two bigger. What's bigger? Well, tens. The value in my tens column is bigger than the value in my ones column. So I can look at this number here and understand that this five actually is a 50 because five tens equals 50 and the five is in the tens column. So what I can do is I can borrow a whole 10 from here and turn that into 40, and I can show that by crossing it out and putting a four. But that means I've taken a whole 10 away that I can come and put here in front of the two. So I can turn this two into a 12. Okay, that's a little bit confusing, isn't it? But essentially what we've done is we've taken this 5, we've turned it into a 4, and we've given the 1 over here to the 1's column. So that now my question reads 12 subtract 5. And this I can do because now I have my 1 and my 2, and I'm going to add the 10 that we borrowed. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, giving me a total of 12. And now when I take away 5, I can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that leaves me with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Whew, that was tricky, wasn't it? Just to get that first part of the answer, wow. Now I can look at my next column, which shows 4 subtract 3. Well, 4 subtract 3 equals 1. And then my last column says 4 subtract 0, and that equals 4. So my answer to 452 subtract 35 is 417 put the answer up here. Let's have a super quick go at the next one. Put my ones, tens, hundreds, my ones and tens. Arrange my columns with the labels on the top. One tens, hundreds, one one, three tens, four hundreds, and my 46 is six ones, four tens. Put my equals sign and my subtraction sign and include my placeholder zero. And I'm ready to begin. First question says 1 subtract 6. Well, again, I cannot do 1 subtract 6 because if I only have 1, I cannot take 6 away. So I'm going to look next door and see this 3, put it down to a 2, 
and borrow the one. So I've taken a whole group of 10 away from the tens and given it to my ones, turning a one into an 11. So now my question says 11 subtract six, which equals five. So I have a five as the answer to the ones column. Now my 10 says two subtract four, but actually what this is saying is 20 subtract 40. Remember these two and four are in the tens column. But I, either way, I can't do it because two subtract four, I cannot do without getting into negative numbers. So I'm gonna again look next door and I'm gonna see this big nice four, cut him down to a three and borrow the one, which means I've put a one in front of that two. So effectively I've now got 120 subtract 40, or in other words, in my columns, 12 subtract four, which equals eight. So I can put an eight as the answer in my tens column. My hundreds column says three subtract zero, nice and easy, that's gonna equal three. So the answer to 431 subtract 46 is 385. Awesome. Let's look at what to remember. Always begin by putting your column labels. By putting those one tens and hundreds, you are less likely to make a mistake. Begin subtracting from the smallest value, and we must always subtract from the top number. Remember, that is the most important part of this whole lesson. If there is not enough, we can borrow. And where do we borrow from? Next door. Your turn. Have a go at answering these two questions. Put your answers into the comments section. I'm gonna make sure I mark every single one. And there we have it, guys. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, find a buddy to share it with. But for now, guys, I'm gonna see you in another video. Hope this has been good. Peace out.